Okay, so I rarely come on here nowadays. I know you see me on videos, but those videos have been done and they are retold and repeated over and over again because money has not changed. The lessons stay the same. But today I had to come live because I have something that is so critical for you to know and to understand. And until I cannot say another word, I will continue to say this. You have a legacy. You have wealth to pass on to your children or to your community, um, but for generations to come. But we are not taking care of our wealth. I know at least, at least six people right now who are very close to me who have lost a loved one and none of the financial affairs were in place. Let me give you three things that you absolutely positively must do. You must do this now. One, you must have life insurance and the beneficiary should be someone who can be trusted to do the right thing with the money. If you are a single mother and you are leaving the money to the baby's daddy, that is wrong, okay? If you are a single father and if you're leaving the money to the baby's mama, that is wrong. Because what will happen is the child may not get the money if something happens to you. If you are a mother or a father and you are leaving the money to your minor child, that too is wrong because they won't get the money while they're growing up. They'll have to wait until they're 18 and by that time, they'll probably spend it all up. So you must designate the proper people with rules in place. It's called an estate plan, okay? One, get some life insurance. If you make $50,000 a year and you don't have at least $500,000 in life insurance, something is wrong. If you make $100,000 a year and you don't have at least a million dollars in life insurance, something is wrong. You say you love your family. Do you really? If you do, make sure that they can take care of themselves financially if you are not here. Number two, if you own a home and it is not in a trust you are in trouble if something happens to you and your heirs are not listed as the, as the beneficiaries of the trust. That means your heirs are going to have to go through hell and high water and jump over the moon on a Tuesday with a purple spoon in order to get access to the equity in that home. If you pass and that house is not in a trust you are, your heirs are going to have to deal with probate and probate is going to eat up the equity. Do you know how many people are living, still living in big mama's house, mama's house, daddy's house, but they have really no true rights to it. They're just staying there hoping nothing happens or hoping nobody comes and files a claim. We don't have to do that. Get an estate plan. I can help you with that. And the third thing, the third thing that you absolutely positively must do, you must remember that no matter how much money you don't have today, you can always change the game. When that time comes, we must all pay taxes and do what? Die. Now, when that happens, what are you going to say? How is your legacy going to speak for you? I'm saying you should be speaking love and power and prosperity. That's what you should be speaking. Now go to asklin.org and let's get it together.